A new color and a new-ish vehicle is all you need. The Mazda CX-70 has black accents and black chrome styling, and they are the perfect complement to the beautiful melting copper. And features we love, all-wheel drive, hands-free rear power liftgate, gloss black roof rails, and more accessories. Heated and ventilated Napa leather seats a big digital instrument cluster and infotainment screen and the zoom zoom turbo power under the hood what's up everybody i'm jonathan sewell sales and mitchell mazda on the boulevard in enterprise alabama and you see behind me the beautiful yes beautiful melting copper new color for the cx70 and we're going to go inside we're going to go outside we're going to go all the way around so that you can see if this vehicle the turbo s premium plus is the right one for you. So let's jump in. More, 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 more car vids. More, 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 more car vids. Getting started up front, this is gonna be interesting because this vehicle hasn't been PDI'd. That's why we have this uh, uh, tow cover missing and uh, all the wrappers except for the driver's seat are still on the interior. We did remove the exterior wrap and of course have washed it, but uh, this isn't quite ready for um, delivery. But I wanted to go over this with you because it is the first melting copper that we've had in stock. This is the Turbo S Premium Plus. So we've got other videos on this equipment and they'll be up in the cards, uh, but I did wanna showcase this new color so that we had it. And uh, of course, you've got the big 21 inch wheels, which are uh, part of the CX-70, uh, limited to the CX-70. And of course, as we work up front here, the black chrome signature wing is a very nice touch, as well as these larger vents here that are black with uh, the little bit of the vents there on the side, which uh, makes it from the front stand out and be different than the CX-90. And of course, from the side as well, because of the wheels, but also the black chrome and gloss black that we'll talk about in just a minute. The same LEDs that come through the, the uh, grill here, and this grill is unique for the CX-70 as well. The same LED headlight stack and assembly right here, and um, everything else is unique to the Turbo S model. So you have the painted cladding and front bumper there, uh, extension on the front and all the way around the rocker panels. So here's a closer look at those wheels. Uh, but I really love this black chrome inline six fender badge. Of course, we also have the gloss black mirror caps and this one will have your 360 uh, view camera with see-through view. So you have one camera there and one up front and around the back, of course. And this also has your blind spot monitor with blind spot prevent, black chrome accent around the bottom. You also have your black window surround and your gloss black roof racks, uh, roof rails. And then your crossbars up top are also black, whereas the CX-90 are still the aluminum finish. Then you have a little bit of diffuser back here and the mirrors the front. So keeping everything a little bit different. Also, I didn't talk about it up front, but you do have the uh, parking sensors around. Of course, all-wheel drive is on all of them and the eSky Active. So this is the Turbo S, and we'll talk about this more in just a minute when we open the hood, but this is the Turbo S. So it is a mild hybrid is what Maz is calling it, uh, but it's also tuned a little bit different than the standard one. So it's got more horsepower and torque. Bunch of accessories on this, as you see the uh, tonneau cover or cargo cover, also um, up, upgraded mats. Uh, you also have the roadside assistance kit and cargo net. And this is the first aid kit. So a lot of good stuff in here uh, with this vehicle. And um, of course up here, power liftgate button, the ultimate lock, which is my son Xander's favorite feature. And this is uh, hands-free. So all you have to do is just a quick little karate kick underneath and it'll open up. And if you want to lower it, well, stopped it since it was in motion, kick it again, and it'll lower down. So a great feature if you've got your hands full loading some cargo. And I really just love all the black uh, on this color. 
and I apologize, uh, the sun, as you see over there, is going down. I thought I'd had a few more minutes here, uh, but caught with a, a late customer to let the sun shine. But I will put a little footage in here from earlier uh, when it came in. Maybe you can see a little bit of the different shades of this vehicle. Um, and it's, it's better in person than what I thought. Now let's check out under the hood. Not much to see, as is the case with all 90s and 70s. Of course, this is the Turbo S, as I mentioned, so it's 340 horsepower, still pretty warm under there. Inline six with a single turbo, big air box, and everything else kind of in these little uh, compartments here. 340 horsepower, as I said, 369 uh, foot-pounds, and that's with um, premium fuel. So it's recommended actually on the fuel door, which I'll show you because we didn't talk about that. So the inline six engine feeds into a electric motor. There's no torque converter. So it's instant torque in that motor feeds to the transmission and then through the, the drive line because it's rear wheel drive. So different than any other crossover other than the CX-90 is we're getting all of our power from back here and then it feeds to these front wheels as necessary for the all-wheel drive or for the extra traction. So a lot better feel up front, more wheel travel because of that inline six, and of course, the enthusiast feel of a rear-wheel drive vehicle, which is good for uh, better traction on varying terrains. So let's check out the inside. Here's the big fuel door, of course, and premium recommended. Um, so that keeps you informed on what you want to do is your choice but obviously a little bit more performance on this engine and this has the black interior so we have the the matching camel stitching uh, around and the center stripe so a little bit of a gold to go with the bronze <laughs> but uh, beautiful interior and you can see i've got plastic still on everything so we won't cover much of the back seat other than it is a full bench which is uh, what all the CX-70s are because of the, the two rows, five passenger, big panoramic roof up there. And then of course you have all the amenities on this Turbo S Premium, a leather wrapped steering wheel, digital uh, big instrument cluster, big infotainment screen. So you can uh, do touch screen on this one with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which can connect wirelessly, heated steering wheel, heated seats and ventilated seats, of course, I love this, this ledges here, or these little shelves for your uh, controls there. MI drive right here. Also your downhill, downhill traction assist and conveniently placed. I really like the positioning here of this camera button instead of over here on the side with your lift gate and uh, memory seating and over here. So you still have some features over there, but I love having these two buttons right here by the, the joystick of the shifter your commander control knob, and of course underneath here you have USB-C chargers and uh, do have rear vents back there for those passengers as well. And uh, we may do some more videos of this vehicle, uh, but before we get out of here, let's just crank it up and show the inside. Of course, we don't have the uh, nav card or anything installed, CX-70 here. And this is your traditional gauges. Of course, you can go to the iActive screen, which would have the car featured in the center. Also, you have a large active driving display, see the zero, and now it's trying to do the driver personalization system, which since we didn't engage it, it just moved on. And you also have rear passenger alert, this frameless auto dimming rear view mirror, hello there, and LED lights. Taco holder, tomorrow is Taco Tuesday. And do love the black headliner. I think it ties in well and really looks fantastic. So I think that's uh, everything here on this one as far as now, uh, before we get it ready for the lot. And of course, final pre-delivery done on it. Since it is a little bit darker, you can see those LED accents here and the little halos across. So what do you think about the new color? I think it's uh, gonna go either you love it or you're not interested in it, but it's not as orange as I thought it was gonna be. So it really is more of a bronze, and I think uh, seeing it in person has definitely won it over for me. 
Uh, since I've seen this one in person, I will be doing a countdown of my favorite Mazda colors in the coming days. So we'll have to see where this one ranks on my list and see how it fares on yours. But I really can't wait to see you in your very own CX-70 or other beautiful Mazdas.